Stop what you're doing. Stop. Stop right there. Okay. Let's go. You're now tuned into the hottest show on the planet. The Smith Express Show. Yo, yo, yo. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? It's your boy Smith. We here live for another dope episode. A dope interview. I got the big partner. Hair trigger. What's good, my dude? Hey, what's good? What's good? What up, man? What's up, man? Hey, I definitely had to get you on the show. Definitely an honor. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. It's an honor to be here. Uh, no problem. No problem. So, hey, let's get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how did you even get introduced to, to the music field and what made you want to do the music? I've always had it in me, man. Like in school, I would make beats on my desk and I would always spit freestyles and stuff and make people laugh and stuff. So they always like, be like, hey, rat, you know? And, and so I like I would and it made me like, you know, want to, you know, expand my vocabulary, you know? And I just, I got a gift with it, you know? That's dope. That's dope. So like, what were some of your inspirations that coming up while you was coming up with the music, you know, uh, everybody from Ozzy Osbourne and ACDC to Eminem and Snoop Dogg and Tupac, and I, lo- I love all kinds of music. You know, um, they definitely respect music culture altogether. <laughs> That's fire! Hey, you know what I'm saying? And those are, are de- those definitely some greats and legends. You feel me? Especially the Pox, the Ozzy Osbourne. You know what I'm saying? They definitely put in a they fair share of work, you know what I'm saying, and solidify their spots. Especially like Wu Tang, you know, special shout outs to them, you know. Very blessed to be working with them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, no no doubt. Hey, shout out to Wu Tang, you feel me? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, you working with Wu Tang, like, how did that come about? Uh, well, uh, somebody I know showed uh, Solomon Childs one of my tracks, and he got a hold of me, bro. One of my phone numbers started working with me, and um, we started working on my chess moves uh, album, and, and you know it's just rap now. You know what I mean? From there, I've just gone on to bigger things, and I'm just I'm not stopping, bro. I'm, I'm like, fuck it, let's go. That's dope. That's dope. Cause like a lot of people only dream about working with some of their inspirations or people that had inspired them type thing. What was it like working with uh, with Wu-Tang for the first time? Man, you know, I can't even put it into words, man. You know, it was, I was definitely on top of the world. You know, I definitely looked up to them guys since I was, I was a kid, man, you know, about the Wu-Tang, bro. About the Snoop Dogg, you know what I mean? And, I remember watching Snoop Dogg on TV, bro, when I was little, and I thought, man, one day I would love to be here. Like, most people only dream of something like that. So to be able to achieve it is, man, I, I'm at loss for words, bro. I'm just, I can say, all I can say is, is I, I hope that I can, you know, make everybody happy and continue to, you know, make that progress, bro. That's dope. That's dope. So like, hey, let me ask you this: Like, was there a specific song that made you pick up a pen and pad and say, "Hey, this song is dope. This song is an inspiration," or is there a specific artist in general? Shakur. Oh, say that again. Shed so many tears by Tupac Shakur. Hey, the classic. That that that's definitely an iconic song. I know that song word for word. Between that and two shorts, uh, I'm a player. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I love that shit. Dude. I love that old school style, bro. Whether it be the Chronic, whether it be Wu Tang, whether it be Too Short, I know I got respect for all the OGs. That's dope. That's dope, man, bro. I swear that they don't make music like that no more. They don't, bro, and that's what I think is getting the respect I'm getting, bro, because it's like some shit straight out the 90s, you know? Oh, yeah, facts, big facts, you know what I'm saying? And I think that that's something that was missing, but it's finding its way back to the forefront. It's lyricism and passion and, and, you know what I'm saying, that heartfelt shit that made hip-hop hip-hop in the first place. 
Yeah, yeah. And that's and that's what Solomon Child saw in me, bro. He saw that, man. He said, he said, you got something, bro. You just got it. Yeah, I just, I feel it. I know it. You know, and, and to hear that from a legend like that, bro, that was like, okay, I really am on the right path. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to grind harder. I'm going to get this. I'm going to do what I got to do. That's you know? fire. That, that's and, uh, you know, next thing I know, man, you know, I got C.B. Stone wanting me to work with him, dude. With Snoop Dogg. That's fire. Hey, Dan, that's definitely lit. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you doing shows all over. Is there a specific city or state that show the most love? Man, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Chattanooga, Tennessee seems to really like me, bro. I've been doing a couple shows out there and shit. Um, But, you know, I I think my own hometown right here, bro. Right here in Southern Indiana, bro. They fucking definitely showed out love last night in Lincoln City, bro. Fucking, we we hit over almost 11,000 likes on TikTok live, bro. Hey, that's fire. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. That, that's definitely epic. Yeah, it definitely was. The rate was jumping so quick. I was like, damn, bro. We just were having fun with it, man. We just went out there did our thing. You know what I'm saying? Man, People man. were it. And that's what it's about, bro. That's all what it's all about, man. Man, much mm-hmm. salute, for real. Mm-hmm. We even got that event coming up at the amphitheater soon. Yeah, and we're going to be looking out at getting at the amphitheater, too, up here at Lincoln State Park, too, and um, try to work with the show up in there. That's a pretty big theater, though. That's fire. Hey, look, let me ask you this. When performing, what song do the fans look for for you to perform to that uh, that automatically turns the um, crowd up? Definitely shots on me, which is my song with Stevie Stone. It's Snoop Dogg. You can find it on Apple Music. And drug party. The drug party, dude, which features bizarre from D12. That's what's up. That, that that's dope. I definitely had the honor to, you know what I'm saying, check those tracks out. Definitely lit joints. I could definitely see why, you know what I'm saying, the crowd be going crunk for them but for them joints for real, for real. Hell yeah, dude, you know, to be able to, like, work with these people, like you said, you know, it's people that only dream of it, but I'm like, hey, man, one thing I can say to people is don't be afraid to take a chance, because you never know if you don't try, but even if you fail, you, if you try and you fail, bro, like, at least you know, you feel me, like, don't ever be afraid to take that chance, see that leap of faith, step out of your comfort zone. That's you right. might find what you're looking for all along. That's I'm facts. That, that's big facts. So, look, hey, we finna play a game, right? I'm gonna go through your catalog, let name a few songs, and you tell me the history and what it was like um, making it, all right? Okay. All right. So, the, the first song I'm gonna ask you about is the song Drug Party featuring Bizarre. How did that song come about? Okay, so I know that Bizarre... You know, I've been a fan of Bizarre for a long time, bro. Like, you know, D12, dude, I love D12, bro. Um, I've just been a big fan of him and him and all that, man. And so, you know, I, I he was he was uh, advertising. He was in the studio, hit him up. And I did, so I hit him up, man. And, you know. I uh, started talking to him and when the idea of a song by him, he said, let me see that beat. And I was like, okay. And they came up with that hook and he came up with the, with the song. And, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I actually went up to Michigan and, and hung out with my brother for a couple of days up there, man. You know? Wrote down that verse and stepped in the studio and spit that bitch while I was up there. And, uh, you know, it, it was a rap after that, man. You know? That's what's up. Uh, who, who produced that joint? Um, so it's uh, Cody Arnold from uh, Oregon State Productions. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. I yeah, could only so- imagine the great chemistry <laughs> y'all had in the studio. What's that? I said I can only imagine the um, the dope chemistry you guys had in the studio, you know what I'm saying, while creating such a dope record. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. It was it's definitely a dream come true, man. Like I said, and, and it's crazy, bro. Cause like I'm I'm a fan of hip hop. You know what I mean? So when I see these guys, I want to like, yo, what up? You know what I mean? Like I'm just like stoked as fuck. Like no fucking way. But then I gotta remember too to like remain my uh, business composure too, and it's kind of hard, man. Cause I really need that piece of it. That's what's up. So, hey, another track I want to ask you about is a song called um, it's a song called Killer Collabin with with Mike Recker. How did that song okay. come about? Okay, so me and Mike we used to you know be part of the Killer Collabin uh, group. You know what I'm saying? But we kind of you know. In our separate ways and shit, but he's you know he's a dope MC, bro. I can't I can't take that from him. But it's, you know I don't like racist people, and I found that shit out. I had to cut him off. Oh damn, that's crazy. I I, I definitely salute you, bro, for that for real. And I, and I dropped a diss track on him, and I kind of ended his career. So you know, but hey, you don't you don't come in, you don't come in the land of hip hop disrespect my people, bro. That's hey, that, and, and that's big facts. I, I salute you for real, man. Hey. Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, this song, you know, I produced that track and everything like that. So, uh, that that's what's up. You know, at one time, man, me and Michael cool, bro. You know, he never showed no nothing like that. You know, so I had no reason to believe otherwise. And you know, we actually made a lot of music together, man. Because, like I said, he's good MC, but I just can't keep working with somebody like that. You feel me? Uh, I feel you. Hey, much like you, hey, you definitely got my respect, bro. A hundred percent, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, the, the, this is the last uh, song, uh, Shots on Me, featuring Stevie Stone and Snoop Dogg. How did that song come about? Who produced that joint? All right, so I know that I went to Full Sail University, bro, and um, I went to school with uh, somebody who's related to Stevie, and we did a song together called See No Evil. And um, that one right there is what made them start watching. And um, they were really impressed with my work. I wrote the um, the hook for that, and I wrote my verse, and it's all about equality, you know? And, um, and yeah, bro, they just kind of started really watching me after that song. They really liked the message to it, and they liked that I was taking it back to their roots of hip-hop, man, and what it's supposed to be about. You know, and they and they see that I'm uplifting my community. I'm all for my community, very involved in my community. You know what I mean? Like even when I go up to the school for my kids and shit, dude, everybody knows who I am, bro. It's dope, man. I love that, you know, they got respect for me, dude. That's fire and and much love, man. So I mean would you you go by the name Hair Trigger, like if you don't mind breaking down like how did you come about with that name right there. Okay, so that's that's a pretty cool story. So you know uh Ash from Evil Dead? No, I'm not familiar, but just put me on game. Who is he? <laughs> okay. So dude, this it's like a it's a horror movie franchise from like the seventies and eighties and like they've even rebooted it now. But like I don't know, dude's got like a chainsaw for a hand. And, like, he kills all these, like, zombies and shit. He's, like, a badass. And um, in one of the movies, he's explaining his uh, sawed-off shotgun, his double-barrel Remington from S-Mart, right, which I guess would be Kmart or whatever. And he's talking about I had a hair sugar. And my cousin he was like, my cousin Andrew was like, yo, he's like, that's what you should go by, hair sugar. Well, I typoed it and spelled it H A R E, but like, so like a rabbit, right? But I was like, one thing I'm good at, I'm good at pulling rabbits out of hats, bro, pulling miracles out of my ass, you know? So it's kind of like a metaphor, 
for that. You know what I mean? Like somehow I can trigger them. You know. And that's what's so. You know what I'm saying? And and that's dope. That, that that's definitely dope. So hey, let me ask uh let me ask you this too as well. Like you collaborated with quite a few artists. Is there any dream collaborations you'd like to see happen that hasn't happened already? See, that's been yes, Ice Cube, Eminem, dude, you name it, dude. Um, I want to work with everybody, bro. To be honest with you, if I can, bro, Wayne, Pat, John, I don't care, man. You know, I want to work with everybody, bro. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? And I and I salute you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Definitely honored to have you on the show. Like, hey, if you can, uh, shout out your social media and how people could get a hold of you and reach out to you. Okay, I'm on Facebook the most, bro. But y'all can Google me too. Um, and you know, like I said, Apple Music's from you know got it on and popping. I'm also on TikTok, um, Instagram. <clears throat> you know, so. Just, just don't follow me, man. Engage with us and see what we got popping because we definitely got more shows coming up and we're definitely going to be streaming. Y'all are going to want to see this, man. It's, yeah, we're going to the top. That's dope, man. Hey. hey, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold you too long, bro. Definitely honored to have you on the show. Like, hey, I'm a movie, man. I'm definitely doing some good things to show. Good looking, boss. Hey, but one quick question I want to ask you. For those that is tuning in, you know what I'm saying, and they seeing the great things you've accomplished, you got any encouraging words for those that's trying to get in the game and try to accomplish some of the things you've accomplished? Don't give up. Even if your haters sound like they're hating on you, bro, try to read between the lines and see if they're really trying to give you some encouragement. Sometimes they can be, bro. You know, it's a tough call, I guess. But that's one thing I've done, man, is I've actually improved. You know, even if I felt disrespected, I might diss them, but I make the improvement when I diss them, too. Then I shut them up. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, make fires out of your haters and your doubters that say you can't do it. Fuck that. Don't listen to that shit. You know what you know. You know what you're capable of. You know your worth. You know who you are. And don't let nobody tell you any fucking different. That's dope. That's dope. Hey, the day you have it, man. Oh, what's up? So definitely shout uh, once again, like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out your social media. Any up and coming projects you got going on? Singles, EPs, mixtapes, albums? <laughs> Well, yeah, so we, we are doing the Wu Culture mixtape. So, like, as you know, the shots on me, that's a song from the, you know, from the mixtape. And uh, we're going to be making a big thing of it, man. We want to host battles, do all kinds of shit, man, you know, to try to get people out there. And, you know, we're not just limited to hip hop either, bro. I see somebody who's got some real good channels, bro. I'll put them on, you know? So it's so about giving that love back. That, and, and that's fire, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do, do you got a release date for that mixtape? So right now, I've just been dropping them as singles from it. You know what I mean? Like, I dropped shots on me, I think, on Christmas Day. And then, um, you know, we're, we're working on some other stuff, though. I got a few tricks in my sleeves, you know. A couple surprises y'all just going to have to. That's gonna have to stay tuned for, you know. But I, I promise y'all gonna love it. I can tell you that. That's dope. That's dope. Hey, there you have it. The big homie hair trigger. Definitely an honor. Definitely gonna have you back on this show soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanna give a shout out to the wasp and my man Snake Eyes here, you know. Do you wanna get say what's up real quick? Yeah, so I just wanted to add one little thing there. For any artist that hears this and is Thinking, oh hey, what's what's in it for us if we join Browse Productions or the Killer B Walk? Just know this man hair trigger right here is unionizing hip hop. He will make our job safe. There you have it. That's dope. That's dope. There you have it. You know what I'm saying? The partner hair trigger definitely getting it in. You know what I'm saying? Making noise out there. Shout out to the whole Indiana. The state as a, you know what I'm saying, in general. You know what I'm saying? Definitely talented, super talented. I I have no idea why Indiana hasn't gotten their fair share of exposure when it comes to talent. 
Yeah, well, they are now, you know, and, they're, and that's the cool thing, man. Like last night with that show, you know, we're finally getting recognized and people are realizing, hey, man, there's some real talent here, bro. You know, we hear about it from Cali and Michigan and, you know what I mean? But I'm actually from Michigan originally, but, you know, I lived down here for the last 12, 14 years, some shit. And I'm just like, you know. What? That's what's up. That's what's up. Damn, man. like MC Cheech. You know, shout out to him. You know, Monster the Great. Shout out to him. You know, some of, the, some of my people, man. You know, and they they definitely been doing their thing. And we're adding a couple new people, too. That's so, dope. That's dope. <laughs> You know, I'll have more details on that as soon as possible. Hey, bet it up, bro. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to definitely continue to make history. You know what I'm saying? Definitely have you on the show again. Like, you know, yeah, hey, we definitely going to be premiering a new single, so y'all stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Hey, mm-hmm. there you have it. Let's get it. Yeah. World premiere. Yup. Let go, go, ride that way, way. tell me where to go, go. on my way, way. make that bend, bend. shots on me, little mama, what up? Yeah, what we doing now, Ted? What up? Yeah, what we doing now, Ted? What up? Yeah, what we doing now, Ted? What up? Yeah, what yeah. we doing? Say shots on me, we're high. Shawty, let me talk to you, show you who I be, yeah, you yeah. ass child's arrival with me, yeah I'm gonna sleep to your double G, Big Mac, we stay hot all to the shots on me That control of snow keeps busting me, yeah, trippin' so I'm blessed, never need a sheet Dance like that, woo we yeah. up, she got me shot Shoot, 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 just that swing, swing. bitch, let go. go, ride that way, way. tell me where to go. go On my way, way. make that bend, bend. shots on me, little mama, what up? Just nice and chill. Black Mac in the Lax Seville with 20 kills. More at it, more patty. Special sauce, more cheese, more V's. Shipping these zones like keys. Then a nigga got more keys, more cheese, more V's. And saying shit niggas wouldn't believe. Oh, nigga, please. I'm taking a chance. And then a nigga fell in love with a go go dancer. So live it and give it, give it all you got. Hold your ground, keep your faith and stay high. Keep your faith and hold your ground. Stay high. What else can I say? Hey. Just like and chill, chill. Shop, shoot, choose. This, that swing. Bitch, let go. Ride that way. Tell me where to go. On my way. Make that bend. Shop, so me. Little mama, what up? Yeah, what we doing now, Ted? What up? Yeah, what we doing now, Ted? What up? Yeah, what we doing now, Ted? What up? Yeah, what we doing? Shop, 